They say bullets made from teeth can kill without leaving a trace, disintegrating into fragments so small they could be mistaken for the victim's bones. But is this possible? To test it, the Mythbusters tried three types of projectiles. Tori loaded 12-gauge shells with teeth instead of shot. Carrie made handgun bullets for a .38 by placing whole teeth into the casings and sealing them with silicone. Grant molded teeth to make rifle rounds and also carved a bone bullet from a cow femur. Then they tested accuracy. Carrie's bullets veered off and missed the target at 6.5 meters, while Grant's rounds shattered inside the barrel before exiting. The bone bullet struck near the target, while Tori's shotgun shells produced a spread similar to a real shot. Next, they tested penetration. Fired into ballistic gel, the teeth-packed shotgun shells only reached about 4 centimeters, far short of the 10 centimeters generally considered lethal. The first bone bullet also failed to meet the benchmark, so Grant made a larger version. When fired, it penetrated 15 centimeters, achieving lethal force. Since there were no volunteers, they shot pig carcasses. The teeth-filled shotgun shell and the bone bullet both caused fatal wounds. The carcasses were sent to a forensic pathologist. Fragments of teeth and bone were found and identified as foreign material with trauma consistent with firearm wounds. Teeth and bone can injure, but they don't hide the crime. 